Saturday night for dinner and we're having homemade scotch eggs with salad. My scotch eggs are completely sin free. I've used the 5% pork mince and on the outside it's just one slice of wholemeal bread which are blitzed in the food processor and it's breadcrumbs so I just won't have any any healthy extra B. I'll class it as my healthy extra B because I can't exactly weigh how much is on each scotch egg but I know it was just one slice, the end slice of the wholemeal loaf. I know it won't be more than 40 grams that is on each of the eggs or both of the eggs all together. So into the sausage meat I just added some salt and pepper, mustard powder, herbs, like just Italian herbs and onion powder and garlic powder powder, and then I blitzed it all in the food processor and in the salad I've got lettuce, cucumber, spring onion, tomatoes and I've got some pickled onions on the side and some pickled beetroot on the other side. So that's mine. I don't know if you can actually tell how big these scotch eggs are. I don't even think I'm going to be able to eat two of them. And this is Ali's one. Now his scotch eggs were made with the sausage meat and the golden breadcrumbs. I added all the same herbs and everything in it. And I actually prefer, you know, my ones, look at this. My ones are actually a lot firmer. His ones are squidgy, which is why it didn't cut very well. But mine's are nice and firm. I like that better. So he's got two and he's also got the exact same salad as me. And then I've made Mark some he doesn't eat salad. So I made him wedges and beans to go with his. And I've just added a few wedges into Ali's, you know, because he's like, well, why am I not getting wedges? Sunday night for dinner and we're having beef stroganoff. This is, I guess, my own kind of beef stroganoff recipe done in the slow cooker with some beef stock pots, onions, mushrooms, diced beef, some herbs, salt and pepper, some Worcester sauce and I think that's it. I think that's it. Plus I put some of the latest Philadelphia in. So it actually works out about um, about two cents a portion. It's actually about one and a half, but I'll say two. Two cents per portion. And I've got that with some pasta. I was going to have potatoes, but I'm really not in the mood for potatoes. <laughs> Fancied some pasta with it instead. And on the side, I've got some broccoli. So between the broccoli, the onions and the mushrooms, I've got plenty of speed veg in there. So that's mine. And that's Ali's. He's having the exact same as me tonight. Monday night for dinner and I'm having the corn crispy nuggets which are half a cent each. I've got seven on my plate so that's three and a half cents. I'm having that with some homemade Slimming World chips and some salad. I've got lettuce, cucumber, tomato, spring onion, a little bit of sweet corn and I've made some coleslaw. I actually made the coleslaw for the pulled pork which we're having tomorrow night but it makes such a big batch so I'm having some with dinner tonight. So that's mine. And Ali's having the same, except he's just got regular battered chicken nuggets. Tuesday night for dinner and Ali and I are having slow cooked pulled pork. This is a recipe I found in one of the Slimming World magazines, I think it was. And I think it says it works out to like half a sin per person, but I don't know, I think it's basically not a sin at all because it's only like a tablespoon of sweetener that's in it. And, I mean, we're probably going to get three meals out of that, so it's, ugh, I don't know. I'll count it as half a sin, but I really don't think it's worth counting it as anything. The coleslaw is the same coleslaw I had last night. That's about half a sin per person. And I've got three sins of butter in my jacket potato, because I've not eaten anything today, and I have some sins that I can use for butter. If I'm honest, I really saved them for the butter. So that's our dinner. We had the exact same a couple of weeks ago. Was it last week or the week before? We had the exact same meal and we loved it so much so I've made it again and we can have it another twice. Wednesday night for dinner and we're having cottage pie and I just wanted to show you in the oven dish before I plate it up because when you plate it up it just goes to slop and I think it looks quite nice like this. And this is all plated up. It's not went too sloppy but it's not the prettiest meals to dish up. So the cottage pie is homemade and completely sin free. I've got in there mince, onions, carrots and some mushrooms and on the top I've just got 
potatoes, mashed potatoes with salt and pepper. I didn't put any butter or that in them. And on the side we've got some steamed cabbage for speed. That's just some pepper and salt that you can see on top there. So that's mine. And that's Ali's. The only difference with Ali's is I've added a little nobby butter to his cabbage because actually it's nicer with butter. I think I've said this before, but I can't have butter, so I'm letting him have some. Thursday night for dinner and we're having soup. It's a chicken and vegetable soup. It's got chicken, carrots, a turnip, cabbage, potato and I've thrown in some barley there just because I wanted a really hot stick to your ribs soup when I came back from work tonight. So that's mine and I'm having a couple of slices of my wholemeal bread with it as my healthy extra B. And that's Mark and Ali's and they've both got some tiger bread, buttered tiger bread, which is torture. Friday night for dinner and we're having a bit of a mammoth Friday night fake away. So I've made the tandoori chicken skewers. I made this the same way that I make the tandoori chicken drumsticks and thighs. I just used chicken breast this time and I cut it up and I left it to marinade all day. And then I popped it on one of these metal skewers with some red onion and tomatoes. And that is completely sin free that skewer. I've also got a little side salad with lettuce, tomato and cucumber purely for the fact that I need to use up the rest of the salad stuff that's in the fridge. Oh, there's also spring onion on the salad. I've made some homemade sin-free satsuki. It's got fat-free yogurt, cucumber, lemon, mint, salt and pepper in it. And I'm using my Healthy Extra B for the pita bread and I've got some homemade wedges sin-free on the side. So this is a completely sin-free meal, and that's my one. And Ali's is the exact same. And this is actually the last Meals of the Week of 2018. I will show you what I'm eating throughout Vlogmas and stuff, but I mean, I'm not going to do proper videos about our Meals of the Week. You will see it daily, because I'm daily vlogging throughout the whole of December. So there's no point in doing a separate video for it. But please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time.